We have undertaken a historic effort to massively reduce job-crushing regulations. Sounded good to me. But the media says Trump's wrecking America. This is a very big deal. The Environmental Protection Agency just rolled back Obama-era climate rules. He single-handedly led the world down a dark path. His proposal is literally insane. We're told his deregulation is an attack on the environment, that workers' health, safety, and pay are casualties. Even the Trump's trying to kill us. Now, Trump has cut regulations. This is where we were in 1960. He promised to shrink the regulation rule book back to the size it was 58 years ago. We will have a great regulatory climate. One, two, three. The day he got elected, you saw the stock markets swing up. Grover Norquist runs a group that fights for lower taxes and fewer rules. Trump sent a message to business, we're not going to crush you. And that's caused growth. That was the beginning of a recovery. In the 48 hours since Donald Trump was elected to the Oval Office, the stock market has rallied, reaching new heights. And the Trump administration has repealed lots of rules. For example, waters of the United States. We're going to protect waters of the United States. Sounds good. They were including little trickles, uh, the kind of ponds that spring up uh, when it rains a lot one night and then it goes away the next day. They were using it as uh, land control. Land control can crush people. Jill and Jack Barron were encouraged by Idaho officials to clear a drainage ditch. But when they did that, federal officials went after them, finding them thousands of dollars. 37500 a day. Until the Barrons had to sell their home and move into this trailer. But now, thanks to deregulation, they can use their land again. Good. But other repealed rules sound important. The names for all these regulations are written by the regulators. They're advertisements for themselves. But unlike many advertisers, regulators don't list the side effects. Some people have had changes in behavior, hostility, agitation. May cause unemployment, may reduce wages, may raise the cost of energy, may make your car not drivable. Well, it's drivable, but smaller, because the Obama rules would have forced car makers to nearly double gas mileage. And more people are killed in smaller cars. Should the government tell you what kind of car to buy? Should they? I mean, that's what a regulation does. Now California regulators have made a deal with four automakers to keep the Obama rules. In effect, telling Californians some cars you cannot have. Net neutrality for everyone. Trump's FCC also ended net neutrality rule. They were going to turn the internet, which is a free, largely free and open operation, into a government regulated utility, monopoly. When Trump repealed that, people said he was handing the keys to the internet over to a handful of multi-billion dollar corporations. Well, uh, bad things were going to happen. They were going to charge you to do this, that, and the other thing. The companies would send your emails slower than somebody else's. Uh, none of that's happened. None of it. None of it. None of it. None of it. The two for five dollar mix and match deal from McDonald's is back. Many regulations were repealed that few people know about. One would have treated franchise companies like McDonald's as one single business. Why? The trial lawyers want to be able to sue all of McDonald's, not just the local McDonald's, if they spill coffee on themselves. And the labor unions wanted to unionize all of McDonald's, not just the one store. That would have been a disaster. That was ended. Deregulation! It's when we remove those bad rules so that corporations can maximize their profits. <laughs> People think Trump is destroying the workplace and the environment. If you get your news from late night comedy shows, you think that deregulation is bad for the economy and bad for the environment. In point of fact, it's good for the environment, it's good for jobs, it's good for people having more wealth. But we want the air to be cleaner. The air is getting cleaner, it's dramatically cleaner. It is, mostly because of EPA rules passed decades ago. And every time someone replaces an old car with a new one, the air gets a little cleaner. Now, climate change and whether we can do anything about that's a separate debate. But when it comes to clean air, Trump's undoing of Obama's ever stricter standards just returns us to the rules in effect during the Clinton and Bush years. Were you coughing then? No. But the media don't tell you that. President Trump has liberated American factories from the scourge of pollution rules. <coughs> Lost in the coughing is the unfortunate fact that Trump's adding regulations, too. 
It's all about made in America. So now government agencies have to buy more American-made stuff. Uh, that sounds like a good idea, but it's a dumb idea, and I wish he hadn't done it. That is not deregulation. That is regulation. Stocks tumbling today. Markets that rose when he was elected have dropped as Trump's tariffs punish American companies that buy steel and consumers who want things like washing machines and solar panels. There is a challenge. Trump is a protectionist in many ways. And then I can always do much more or I can do less depending on what happens with respect to a deal. And tax, tariffs are taxes, and regulations on the border are regulations on consumers. And frankly, it hasn't cost our consumer anything. It costs China. Uh, the good news is the vast majority of the regulatory acts, um, by a factor of many, have been deregulatory, and they've been tremendously helpful. And yet, with all this publicity about Trump deregulating, he hasn't done that much. He's done a great deal more than anybody in recent history, maybe even more than Reagan did. We have cut 22 regulations for every one new regulation. Think of that one. He exaggerates, as usual. The real number is about five repealed for every new one passed. But that's still pretty good. He's loosened all these rules. It's good whenever excessive regulations are cut. Regulations are like taxes. They take choices away from the government takes your money you don't get to decide what to do you have to go work more hours spend less time with your family less time with things you want to do they take your time they cost us money deprive us of opportunities they take our freedom